Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Heading Mind Sunshine. Today we're gonna take a look at my air compressor I have installed on my FZJ80 Land Cruiser. I'm gonna show you guys how I have installed it, mounted it, and I also have a five gallon air tank under the vehicle. I'll walk you guys through it and I'll explain you how I have done it. So, here is a Via Air 450C air compressor I have mounted on my Land Cruiser. Now this is a model I can run continuously. I don't have to worry about it getting hot. I have, I have used this compressor myself about for 25 minutes continuously and I think one of my buddies, he said he has used this for like good 40 minutes on one run, never have any issues. So this is a Via Air 450C and I have mounted directly onto the frame rail. If you guys can see I'll zoom in a little bit there are four bolts it goes two on each side and underneath there will be like aluminium bracket small bracket which I installed myself and it's pretty solid it doesn't move or shake you know and for the air intake for this compressor this is the location again it is a factory bolt I'm using right over there and this is where I have mounted it. They say mount it high, so this is as high as I could do it. And there are two wires from this air compressor. One is this black negative wire, which will be running under here, which I have mounted directly onto this location, a factory bolt. And then the red wire is the positive wire which will feed through my uh, the five gallon air tank I have, the air pressure switch I have through that. And also I will go under the vehicle first so I can show you guys how I have mounted it on the frame rail. And let's let me go through. So this is how I have done it two aluminum brackets both are the same way four bolts four long enough bolts I bought it at the Home Depot and this is how I have mounted it and I'll show you guys wiring which will go from the other side let's go on the top again so this is the red wire the positive wire which I'm running through around it not I don't go from under it I I felt you like this was much better way to do it I mean you guys can do it differently if you wish to so there will be basically three of these red wires under the vehicle as you guys can see there are three wires these all three of them are for this air compressor and I have used a zip ties it goes on top of the frame rail and will go to the air tank I have in the back I'll walk you through guys to that as well all right so let's take a look at my air tank here so this is a wire air five gallon air tank I have mounted under my vehicle where the spare tire used to be from the factory and since I have 35 inch tire on my vehicle so the 35 inch doesn't fit here so this was an empty location I'm using it for the air tank this is the pressure switch which will cut off the air supply when the tank is full and all those wires goes right inside here and I'm using two C channels here you guys can see to support this tank is pretty solid I'm using two of these bolts on the frame rail and one I have to drill a hole here onto the hitch now I also have let me just go towards the back now I also have a drain plug here if I want to drain out the air I will try a little bit you guys will hear a lot of noise right now the tank is like 80% full so this is because this air tank will build up moisture there's moisture in the air in case you want to drain it this is the way wire air suggests that you can do it and then there is also a manual release as well if I want to re 
release the air from the tank and this is the these are the two ways you can empty the tank in case you want to and I have two locations outside on the bumper where uh, I'm, I can use the air hose and I can use the air tools or whatever I want to do and this is where the connection for the air hose is coming from the front of the vehicle from the air compressor it goes in to this air tank and there are two outlets I have for outside I'm gonna go out and show you guys so this is one of those outlets I was talking about and this was a factory hole on this Dobinson bumper I'm utilizing so I have mounted this one location on here and one on the other side as well and that thing make things easier instead of going through under the vehicle or doing anything else because there were like four holes from on the Dobinson bumper one two three for the sensors they use the same bumper for many different vehicles I mean not exact same bumper same exact design and I, I've seen uh, even on a Land Cruiser Prado LX Lexus uh, LX uh, a GX 470 they use pretty much the same bumper same design so some of those vehicles might have those sensors or you know for the backup and all that and since the AD series don't have it but they still has these holes so I'm utilizing those holes all right so I'm gonna open up the back of my vehicle now this is my drawer system here and I keep some tools inside in here this is pretty long so this is the hose I use if I have to air up my tires and this is another tool I can use with this air compressor and this is basically what I use to fill up the air in the tires or in, in, or in anything, anything else so these two are the quick connects you can see I can use it right on this hose here and this end will plug in it's difficult to do one handed uh, actually I have switch hands and let's see if I can do one handed now no okay so this is how you lock it up and I can do the same thing on the other side as well it's hard to film at the same time record at the same time and use the tools so this is if I want to clean up or dry up and I'm gonna disconnect this tool and I'm gonna connect the other one so I can show you guys more how I use that so let's just do this and install this one instead uh -uh, not a one-handed operation again uh, let's see if I can set up my camera for a second Okay, it's done. So now I can fill up my tires and all everything. So this is how I use my air compressor. Also, I have mounted a switch in here and I can turn on this air compressor right now and I'll go walk outside, show you guys when it's running. It's on right now and I'm going outside. You guys can hear it it's running right now this is uh, not a loud compressor it is pretty pretty decent in terms of noise I mean when the hood is down I mean I hardly can hear it but I can I know that it is running or not this is just a you know it's not a twin compressor it's just a basic model from the wire air and it does the job for me I'm not into any kind of competitions that I need to fill up all four of my tires in under 20 minutes or so 
it does pretty good job for me i'm happy with the wire air don't have any issue with it and i'm gonna turn off this compressor now normally when i run this compressor i will have the engine running as well and that's the better way to do it so it doesn't drain out the battery since the compressors air compressors are uh, they draw a lot of electricity and coming back to the setup in, in here i'm gonna disconnect it so this was my setup how i have mounted an air compressor on my land cruiser and i have an air tank to go along with it it's a pretty neat project it only took me i think was like about two hours to install the whole thing yeah, i'm gonna just uh, disconnect this all right so i'm gonna close everything out in here and we're gonna go to the front one more time take a look at my wire air 450c compressor so i'm back to the front now at the compressor one more time this installation took me like uh two to two and a half hours all together once i have the brackets the bolts and everything in my hand and wiring everything all took like two and a half hours at most now if you guys have any question for me i would be more than happy to answer that if i can help you guys install something similar setup i'll be very happy to do that please like share and subscribe and again if you have any question i'm here to help you guys and i hope you have enjoyed this video once again thanks thanks for watching please like and subscribe bye for now